Okay, in this intermediate tutorial, we're going to take advantage of vertex groups and shape keys and particle systems, materials, the whole nine yards. So you should be familiar with the basics of Blender. You should be well grounded in basics at this point. And I have a lot of tutorials in playlists on my YouTube channel in case you're not. So in this case, I'm in edit mode with this sphere. And I'm going to go over for to get a vertex group. And I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, instead of selecting a group like this and giving it a weight down here, I'm just going to go otherwise. I'll go over to weight paint mode. I'm just going to start painting. I'll just use the default value of 1, which is going to be the red. So I've just generated these values in here like this. And you notice it automatically creates the group for me like this. All right, so now the nice thing about that is that when I go back into edit mode, and if I select those there, then you can see what it does. It selects all the faces and the vertices and the edges that are associated with that weight painted area. So that's nice in itself. So with that set, then I'll also go into the Material tab and give it a new material. And give this new, like this, maybe call that purple like that and assign that. So now I have that associated with the weight painted area at the same time. All right, so I'll leave Edit Mode, and you can see there, I'll come back to Object Mode. So there is that. So then now, when I go into the Particle System, I'll just add a Particle System here. And I'll, we'll just use the default 1 to 200, but we'll crank up the normal like this. And we'll go down, and we'll just pick that Vertex Group. All right, so there it is down here in the Density field. We'll add the group to it. All right, so now when I run Alt A, then the particles are only coming out of that portion right there. See, like that. Maybe my weight is a little too fast. You can, uh, it's maybe too fast to really tell. I will give it a bunch more anyway. There you go. So it's just using that portion of the mesh right there at the same time. So that's a really powerful effect because then you can combine that, you know with your artistic work, if you want to just go back into weight paint mode, you can paint either that same vertex group. If I was to paint onto this, it would just add it to that existing group, just like that. That's easy enough. Or if I put a new group, you see they're still going in there, and I can just paint the group in like here, down like this, and nothing's affected down here. But it is a new group, so then I can go back to the particle system and add a new particle system just like we've done with new materials before and in this particle system I'll come down here and add that other group to it alright so now it's doing its own thing and it's doing its own thing and you don't have to add any numbers to the vertex groups at all alright so easy enough and it's pretty cool and a lot more fun that way so then you can see in object mode you know have those colors of course I could do the same thing with these back here I could go back into vertex mode and uh, edit mode and select these down like this. Oh, I actually better go to group one and deselect group one. All right, so now only those are selected. So then when I go into here and give another material in here, you maybe notice how they're all starting to look kind of familiar then. All right, this, everything kind of looks the same. The, the way these material slots are up in here, the same way the particle system slots are they work up in here. You just assign particles to vertex groups instead. But it starts giving you a lot of power over everything in the system. And then um, we could do the same thing, say, for instance, with a shape key. Let's just go back into edit mode. And since we just have this particular vertex group selected, then we'll use a shape key down here. Let's see. How can I get my shape key? I want to do this one. Select, oh, I'll go add an edit mode, uh, add the shape key down here. I just have to add it like this. Should let me do it. And then I'll change this shape only. I'll just press E and extrude that like that. So that'll be that shape here. And if I leave edit mode, you can see I should be able to change it. So there's that changing here. So now we have shape keys on vertex groups and particle systems in the whole nine yards. Okay, well, that kind of gives you an idea. So um, it's a lot of power and it's pretty easy to do and for those of you who've been following all my tutorials it's this is you know fairly complicated if you're a new user to Blender but for those of you who've been following it I'm quite sure you can handle this by now no problem and there's a lot more to come because like I said this is just an inter intermediate tutorial there's a boatload more to learn in Blender and um, okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson